some people donated enough for me to fill the car with petrol and draw and and uh, me and uh, Pierce Corbin took a massive detour route due to um, uh, the most horrendous roadworks. Took us like two hours to get to Glastonbury from here. It's only 45 miles. It takes ages. So we were very late for an extremely important demonstration by a new guy, a young man who is extremely talented in mechanical engineering and uh, 3D uh, computer aided design, that's CAD design. And he has unearthed this is very, very important. Now, this is. Um, a, a, a cold steam engine. It's a cold steam turbine and it's a cold steam um, pump. And what happens is by using very, very finely placed spinning discs, and that's it, spinning discs in a particular configuration at a very high rotational velocity, the edges of the discs, centrifugal, it uses this, this two, it uses both centrifugal force and centripetal force to generate, uh, to shake or pressurize the uh, water molecules out of air, and you have cold steam. This is the ability to produce steam at room temperature using extremely high rotational speeds of disks. Just think of the kind of disks you'd see in a hard drive and think of the uh, thing much closer together and a group of maybe eight of them with special specially designed innards so that the uh, the the airflow can either move in or out of the discs in the turbine mode or the pump mode uh, when it when a jet goes supersonic there's a disc of cloud from the shock wave of the of the cloud of, of the of the of the aircraft going through, that shock wave shakes out or compresses out the moisture in the air and you get steam without having it at high pressure and high temperature. This is really amazing. So this guy has found the patents, he's making the stuff using very high level precision engineering in today's world with titanium or, or, or other um, high specification metals in today's world. He's uh, getting friction free friction frictionless bearings which allows you to t spin these discs up to supersonic speeds and away you go this is tesla technology cold steam motor force so all cars could have this all aircraft could have this and a finer more refined stage of this uh same machine will be able to bring nitrogen in the air and ignite it. So you'd be able to have a nitrogen-fueled, extremely high-powered hypersonic drive in the air. Uh, and you just fly around. You'd, and uh, Now, the thing was that the American authorities demanded, they demanded that uh, he include a fuel tank on his device because this thing can't ha can't possibly work without a fuel tank. So Tesla uh, put a fuel tank on it, and he got his patent. He also put a stupid propeller on it, so it would look like some kind of square box with uh, the ability to uh, to go up and down. Uh, but the, the 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 propeller and the fuel tank was all bullshit. But if you wanted to get your patent. He uh, and he patented the only thing he patented in about 22 countries was this uh cold steam turbine and pump uh, apparatus and he uh, he realized that was so valuable and so important he put a patent on that now this young man down in uh, plymouth has done the physical building he needs a lot of money not not a huge amount but he's um this is something we need to uh get into wide public use it's just a bunch of bearings in a cutout um, cavity so that the discs can spin, minimal moving parts, just move, just high, just friction-free bearings, and away you go. Just make this stuff, and you can make it easily in today's world. Now that's 
Tesla technology, the real deal, the real value, just running on moist, just air, uh, water vapor in the air. And away you go. There is an American team involved with this, and there's an English team, British team. Um, they need funding. These bearings, these frictionless bearings, are, you know, 400 pound a go. Uh, this is using all sorts of really modern, much more modern technology. And it means this machine is ready to go. Just get it built and you're and take the petrol engine out. Take the diesel engine out. Take the jet engines off planes. You don't need wings on planes. The only reason you need wings on planes is A, to hold the fuel and B, to do a thing called fly. But you don't need that with this Tesla technology. You just point point the, uh, the, 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 the engine up or down as a valve to make the... Uh, the incoming air go in or out, depending which valve, and then the direction of these uh, uh, discs will change, and away you go, different ways. It's 120 years old.